Hey guys, I'm back. I have Ravencrest Tactical May 2018 in my hand right now. And a uh, bit smaller package than last month, which, you know, I don't know if that bodes good, bad. Um, if you remember last month, we had that uh, tri-blade folding knife. I wasn't a big fan. Actually, I, you know, a lot of people were not a big fan. Um, but what I'm hoping for this month is the knife that a few people that I've been talking to got. There's two knives that went around last month. So let's see what we've got for this month. I'm just going to get right on into it. We'll do some shout outs soon, but I'm going to open with one of my favorite Kubis. Love this knife. We've got our standard Ravencrest box. And yeah, I'm doing the upside down camera thing again, so hopefully I'll get all the angles right. I meant to be doing this outside, but it has just been miserable lately, and mm, I think I like this one already. Interesting, no lanyard hole. So let's see what we've got. It, you know what? First, let me get a paper towel. All right, they really don't need to ship these things in so as much oil as they do. So, overall, G10 scales, pretty standard for them. Um, steel liners looks like, standard Ravencrest deep carry clip flipper. I'm digging it so far. Fit and finish. Um, I'm going to give it about, you know, an 8 out of 10. Um, there's some mismatch here and there. I mean, maybe I'll even go so far right now, right now, as, no, nope, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. We've got a slightly off-center blade. We've got a little bit of mismatch with the G10, but overall it's pretty good. Um, everything looks nice. I mean, you have to go looking for the flaws on it. Right now, I can see we've got at least over here a, a two finish, two tone blade. We've got a darker area and a stone wash, so kind of like a black wash. Not quite black, but like a dark gray wash and like a regular stone wash. Um, like the handle shape, it looks like it might be comfortable. All right, should we just should we just crack on into this thing? Shall we? Should we do it? Inching not assisted. A lot of their flippers have been assisted, and this one's nice. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, you're going to need to give it a little bit of help. One, you know, I mean, if you give it just a little pansy flip, it doesn't have a very strong detent, is what I'm saying. Strong detent usually results in a nice, crisp flip with, you know, a little bit of effort there. Uh, it just means you got to be a little tougher on the flipper. So push button. Nice. Light switch. Not as good. You really, it feels better to do the, the push button on there. But anyway, yeah, you really want to make sure with that kind of weaker detent that you get a good flip on it. Let's see, thumb studs. Glides right up with thumb studs. Piece of cake. Now, because Ravencrest doesn't put these things on the website right away, they want everybody to get them. I'm wondering if this is bearings or if it's washers. You know, it's kind of hard to tell right now. Giving a little look inside with the flashlight, it looks like bearings. Feels feels a little like bearings, um, but maybe bearings that could be a little smoother, but not bad. So let's not forget. Price this subscription, $9.95 a month, plus shipping, $16.95. So not bad for the money we're spending. Now that is an awesome blade shape, actually. So this is the knife I saw that some people got last week. Last week? Last month. Um, so like I said, we've got our two-tone finish on the blade, which I really like, actually. Nice stone wash on there. Uh, you know what else is interesting? A lot of times when you see this kind of, uh, this big curved belly, with the recurve in there, you have like kind of a, I don't know how to describe it, you can feel a raised area there. It kind of raises up and raises and goes back down towards the tip. This is basically all flat. Nice. Um, that is a, I mean, that's just a cool looking blade. It's a really nice looking knife this month. I really like it. Weight feels pretty good. Handles comfortable actually very comfortable. You've got jimping right there on the thumb ramp. Um, you know what it looks like? You know what I'm seeing? You guys seeing a little shark swimming along in the water there? That's what I'm seeing. Um, 
I actually, this might be, might be my favorite Ravencrest yet. I really like this blade shape. Sharpening a recurve like that, some people have said, um, I forgot what knife we were looking at, and um, I think it was an off-grid, the off-grid Hawk Beltanto, they were looking at that little uh, curve in the front of the blade, and they said, that, like, I don't understand how to sharpen that. Rod, a rod sharpener, gets in that recurve area really nice. Something like a regular straight stone is going to give you problems getting in that curved shape, but if you had a rod, it's going to get in there very nicely. Um, so 440C, as per usual for Ravencrest, that seems to be their preferred steel. Again, relatively, you know, thin liner lock, but I'm trying to get the shot there. Um, it looks like on mine anyway, you know, you've got solid connection between the blade and the lock, but you're already at like 50% lock up there. I'm actually filming this inside, you know, not where I normally film, so I don't have a hard firm table to crack this lock on. Let me see what I can do so we can test this out. I got an idea. How about the rubberized plastic handle of another Ravencrest knife so we're not banging metal on metal? Solid. Pretty solid. Like it. Some people I'm finding uh, do not understand why we do that. You know, test the locks like that. If you don't understand why you want to test the lock up your knife, you know, I can't help you if you think that that's not something that's important. Um, it is pretty smooth. Like, the more you use it, you break it in a little bit, the smoother it gets. Uh, you know, thumb studs actually, to tell you the truth, are a little awkward in their placement. Uh, especially with the thumb ramp being right there. And the thumb studs being right there, kind of right in the middle of these two groups. Just interesting design choice. I love thumb studs, though. Now, they're going to sell this knife on their website. They always do for somewhere between, like, you know, $30, dollars $60. $60. If you subscribe to Raven Pack, you're getting it for $16.95, so that's cool. I want to see if we can just adjust this uh, pivot screw and see if that helps with the centering at all, or if that's kind of a, a deeper issue going on, you know, with this particular knife. I don't know. Yeah, I got I got no movement at all in these pivot screws. So, in fact, they're moving together as one. So, I'd say that they are about as tight as they're going to get. Um, and, yeah, it can, it can move just a bit to really center. But this is not too bad. I'm not going to complain that much. Let's check out that blade, though. I want to know how it, how it does. So, let's start with our curved area first. Beautiful. I mean, if I, I say this over and over. You can watch the slicing, but you can't feel what it feels like to move the blade through the paper. I wish you could. And then the recurve area, I can't. I cannot even feel it moving through the paper. I can't. It just goes. That's awesome. This first one, we're just going to pull through. It's nicely done. This time we're going to give it a little slice, like butter. And on the curved forward area, a mm, little tougher, but still nice. And the slice is just like done over. If I was outside and had something to chop on, I'd love to give a chop with this forward area right there, but I think we've established that this comes out of the box razor sharp. So if we're going to put this up against the other Ravencrest knives that we've gotten uh, in the Raven Pack subscription, I, this easily has to be my favorite in terms of design um, I'd rather have a manual knife than an assisted knife any day of the week and this one despite the awkward placement of thumb studs once you get the feel for how much force you need to sort of break that detent and you know I'll be honest I, I might kind of do a little stress bending on that lock bar to give myself a slightly stronger detent because I want a little bit of a stronger one. I mean, you can barely feel it. Yeah, see, that's... Now, some people probably really like a knife you can just flick open like that. I mean, in this one, you can. I wonder if you can just do it with a single wrist. No, yeah, you can. Single wrist action, but 
it really puts stress on the lock. You don't want to mess with it too much. Um, I like a slightly stronger detent though. I'd rather put a little more force on the flipper and have that blade hold in a little bit better so there's no accidental opening in a pocket or anything else. But minor, minor flaws on this knife this month. Uh, once again, I'd love to see Raven Pack make something out of some really premium, like maybe a carbon fiber scale and an M390 blade or uh, 20CV or, I mean, I could go on and on. Of course, Maximet, I love Maximet. But man, if they offered like this knife in a premium package, they'd, they'd have my money thrown at them. This, the weight is good, it's a comfortable knife really really nice look to it too might not be your most practical blade shape but you can get a lot of good work done with the forward belly right there i mean that that's gonna do a lot of good slicing for you what i probably will do because stand by yep still um being charged for two even though i keep calling them and asking them to stop doing that i probably will customize one of these over at the shop with some kind of fanciness and leave one as stock and then who knows what happens giveaway or you know it's a crazy crazy world guys anything could happen but here's our raven crest raven pack knife of the month may 2018 i wish i could tell you what the actual name of it is but i can't right now because you know it's not on their website yet um but it's pretty cool looking yeah all right so i personally um, although I, I, you know, I like 440C, I don't consider it a premium steel. Some people think it's really good. I don't consider Ravencrest to be high-end knives, but I do think that they are decent quality knives, and I think that this subscription for the price you pay, I really do think it's worth it. Um, some of the stuff they send is a little hokey, but, you know, a, a lot of the knives we've gotten have been pretty good knives, you know? At least decent, nothing below decent. Um, they get better from there, so something to think about. Anyway, guys, don't forget to start sending me your Q&A questions uh, at questionsfordocp at gmail.com. Check out my Facebook page. Um, you know, great way to get in touch with me, ask any kind of questions you want or anything like that. Make sure you check out what we've got going on at the shop at Patriot Armory and Coatings. You are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.